Seattle, Washington. Vibrant, cosmopolitan, and like every American city, challenged by homelessness. I slept in these woods right here a few times. The worst part is just trying to stay warm. For the most part, I slept in the motels. We were fairly successful at what we did. And what they did was deal drugs and get high. Drugs, girls, alcohol, you name it. I ran with the girl that was a prostitute and uh, you know, that's part of how she made her money. And uh, so I kind of was her pimp, sorta, I guess. With a lot of support and encouragement, today, Kevin Carbon is drug free and off the streets. When I met him, he was, you know, just working the highway. A reformed addict looking to save souls came to Kevin's aid. I was once one, and I was worse. <laughs> Mark, to me, he's, uh, he's like a brother, an older brother I never had, a friend, uh, just someone I can always turn to. And Mark has a lot of faith in community-based programs that lend a helping hand. Because there are people out there that are really sincere about wanting to come back into society and be productive and get their life back. So Mark encouraged Kevin to get off the street and into a chef's coat through a program called Fair Start. It's pretty neat how Fair Start began because we were started by a chef. He wanted to provide nutritious quality meals to people in need. Nestled between skyscrapers in downtown Seattle, Fair Start's original purpose was making meals for shelters and daycare centers. That was in 1987. Five years later, the program expanded into a culinary training school. We serve individuals in need, so we serve individuals who are homeless, at risk for being homeless, have major disadvantages in their life. It's an intense 16-week program. This is the end of week nine for me. I came to Seattle out of curiosity and on a job, and uh, the, I was in the printing business. Then when the economy failed, the job did too. I was homeless. When it came down to me having to make a choice of what to do next, I, I said, well, let me go check this out because it was something I always wanted to do. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Trinita Harris, Chef T, is a Fair Start instructor. I've loved to cook my whole life. I've also always loved to give back and just to do something and try my best to educate people. I'm lucky in that sense that I have two passions in life and that I get to do them both here. We range between 40 and 60 students on a daily basis going in and out of our program. We run two shifts, so we have a morning shift and an evening shift. We operate six days out of the week for the training program. Students literally begin their Fair Start training in the basement. It's an inspiring setup where those being assisted are in turn doing a good deed. The largest business unit we run is our meal contract business. We provide meals to nine different shelters, and the child care centers we serve are children from low-income families. So for many of them, it's the one meal they receive during the day. Upstairs, the more visible and sophisticated side of Fair Start, a restaurant serving weekday lunch. This restaurant is wonderful. It gives us the ability to connect our community to the issue of homelessness in a way that's comfortable to them. Imagine if you have no address for your resume because you have no home, and the only words to describe your life are thief, drug dealer, pimp, or addict. Like many Fair Start graduates, Kevin Carbon has successfully shed those labels. Today, he rents space in a house in North Seattle. This is my certificate of achievement from graduating from Fair Start. I graduated August 22, 2008, which is also my birthday. The gold star is for perfect attendance. That was the goal. And this is an article uh, from a dining magazine that told me about the Juno place. I set out to work for Juno, and I ended up getting a job there. In downtown Seattle lies the Swank Arctic Club Hotel, renowned for its walruses, a spectacular ballroom, and the elegant Juno. Means that I do all the prepare all the salads. I put the meat down on the grill, and uh, also I'm being trained in the, on saute, so I should be able to fill every position on the line. Kevin, he's a good worker. Sometimes he'll be real nervous, or he'll be frustrated because a lot of things change. Being a cook can be very stressful, especially when you're busy and the tickets are starting to come in. You have nothing else to do but get the food out but he's learned to deal with it. 
Kevin is, uh, is very dedicated. I think he's come a long way, and I, I really appreciate that I'm part of it and getting him a chance to grow and become a different person. He used to be a, what do we say, a, a hopeless dope addict. Now he's a dopeless hope addict, you know? Part of my decision to go through Fair Start and to learn to be a cook was I could go anywhere in the world and cook. And there's part of me that has a, would like to travel, and uh, I'm thinking about going to Alaska and working at a lodge and so I could fish and work. And it's definitely a desire in my heart.